back with Hank Hamlin, who would like your vote for his run for Congressman Jimmy Duncan's second district seat here in East Tennessee. Let's talk more about the issues you brought up, one of them being health care. What change would you like to see the federal government make when it comes to that very issue? Again, a very asymmetrical answer to that question, but I want to see, bottom line, I want to see care go back into health care. It's too much of a health business. Right now, insurance companies have too much say-so between that doctor and that patient in that medical exam room. What can lawmakers do? What can you do as a lawmaker to change that? Reevaluate all of the, the entire law concerning the Affordable Care Act. It has to be readdressed. It has to be reset. You can't, well, you have to stop finding people who obviously can't afford insurance in the first place. Why find them? Let's set conditions so they can have insurance and make this a feasible program for everyone. Do you believe that health care is a right um, and therefore a responsibility by the federal government to help provide it to everyone? I do not. That's a, it's a very touchy subject, but I will say this. I don't think that it's the responsibility of the government to provide insurance for people. I think that, but I do think that they should be decisively engaged in providing that opportunity as far as making it available and keep ma mandating prices, keeping those prices low by instilling a, uh, a competitive environment across state lines for insurance companies. I believe that in that aspect, the, the government should be and must be involved, but I don't think it's on the government to provide health care for every individual out here. I'm sorry. Do you believe in President Donald Trump's efforts to get a wall built between the U.S. and Mexico? I do. Again, a very controversial issue. Some people say that it won't work. You can't keep people out from over a wall, but I'm here to tell you, you ask North Korea and South Korea what a wall will do for you, or uh, in, in Germany back in the day when the Iron Curtain was up, or even modern day in areas like Iraq or Afghanistan, I can tell you a wall is very effective. It much, makes it much easier to patrol and much easier to uh, maintain as far as keeping people that you don't want in out. Some push back on that from people who say, by building a wall, we're actually inhibiting the natural migration of people. Um, that for years, um, people from Central and South America even would come up, work from, say, the spring until late November, and then head back home and uh, then come back when there was more work in the fields, in particular migrant workers. And that was just a natural part of life in the U.S. Do you agree with that sentiment, or do you, do you think that uh, you know, a guest worker plan is, is not an option that we need to, to really constrict the number of people moving in? I think we really have to relook at the entire immigration legislature. We've got to look at uh, what is going on in the United States right now, what's working, where are people working, involved, part of their communities, where are the migrant workers coming from, where are they going to, is there some way we can reset the, the work visa program for those people? Because that, I get it, we have to have those, that labor. because. In some areas, you just cannot get that type of labor. Either, work, either, either the work pool is not there or the work pool uh, is in such a shape that you can't really pull out of it for honest, uh, dependable labor. And we have some of those issues right here in the second district. So I think we need to really reevaluate what we're doing with allowing those migrant workers come up. But I think we have to keep accountability. The, the issue with the wall is security. It's not just drugs. It's not just terrorists who uh, infiltrate through that area and I'm here to tell you that is happening, has happened and will continue to happen as long as there's, as there's no obstacle there to deter them. Uh, we have to readdress this whole thing with the immigration as a whole and that wall has to be part of that discussion. Uh, I want to move to other international situations that we're in right now and that is President Donald Trump's efforts to pull back from um, treaties in, in particular that we've seen his support for NATO drop off mm -hmm. and do you agree with his general philosophy um, when it comes to foreign policy? I do generally I absolutely do uh, especially when it comes to tariffs or pulling out of such treaties like NAFTA which really was so detrimental to this nation for so long and really hurt us right here in the second district you know when I went uh, in the military in 1986 and left there, was, there were a lot of factories here, there was coal here, there was industry here, uh, but when I retired and came back, those institutions, those businesses, those industries, they're gone, those mines are closed, but I'll tell you what is here is a really footholded and established drug environment. I want to end on that. We only have about a minute left, but the opioid crisis, what can you do as a lawmaker to help end it? 
at the federal level, there's there's much that can be done. As a matter of fact, right locally here in East Tennessee, General not General, but uh, Governor Haslam just signed into law two bills that are going to affect that they're going to really get strict with the opiate prescriptions as well as a program for prisoners so they can enter a program to take time off of their uh, sentence. But at, at the federal level, we can do a lot. We've got to look at how these doctors who are overprescribing these incentives that are making pretty much an, uh, incentivizing doctors to make these prescriptions for pain medicine when in all honesty they could write for Tylenol. Hank Hamblin, we appreciate the conversation this Thank morning. You. Best of luck in your run. Yes, sir. And we're back with more candidates for a different race right after this on Inside Tennessee.